All right, we're on hole number two of the Community Cup. We're in Wednesday's qualifying round in the Ricky Division, and we are definitely trying to qualify today. We've messed around and practiced and tried to get back into the rhythm of the game because it's been off for a while. All right, five backspin. Switching this up to a... <clears throat> I'm going to change my notes here. I'm going to switch this hole up to a backbone just because it's a little more accurate. Backbone is going to be one two one eight two one. I think I'm in mid minimum club, so I'm going to be at two one per ring. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and pick out our our. Make sure we got our club. We should just need a backbone and a navigator. Navigator puts us right at minimum club. So we're getting our best accuracy readings at minimum club. That's why we've picked this ball combo. This would be a great spot for one of these new balls. Maybe we'll get an opponent. Maybe. opponent goes first. Let's see how they do. What did they bring? Looks like they brought a Goliath. They got that five backspin we're looking for, or I'm looking for. They're starting off on the fringe, just like me. Now you could start off on the green, and I'm and I'm actually thinking if I keep. It seems like I'm getting a little bit of an irregular bounce off of the fringe. I'm not sure what the rings are for my opponents, so I'm not sure what that adjustment was. With a pure side wind like this, it's always difficult. I mean, your adjustments have to be absolutely precise. Or that wind will knock them off. <clears throat> okay, so we're using a nav. We're going to put on five backspin. We're coming down here. There's minimum club right there. So we're coming down and I'm going off of the fairway. Three, four, five. We're off of the fringe. It goes straight at it. Okay, so it's two one per ring. So that was one five, so we're one and a quarter rings. Hitting it perfect. Give ourselves a shot. And we're ending up just a little to the left. It's taking an irregular bounce right there. I'm going to have to start lining it up a little bit to the right. My distance is good, but I keep ending up just a little bit to the left. And that is how you get a birdie on a par 3. which is fully expected, but we are getting it. I am getting it closer that my speed and where I'm ending up when I roll, roll past the cup is exactly like I want it. It's just dialing in that left to right. We will forfeit our shootout in the island hole. Add 10% on this hole. Don't forget, it's key, it's critical. All right, that was hole number two of the Community Cup in Wednesday's qualifying round. Thanks for watching.